1809 is where our story begins in a small log cabin where a child is born. Push! Come on, Nancy, push! No! For heaven's sake, Thomas, be quiet. You're not the one having a kid. Whatever, just hurry up. You can't hurry these things, you fool. It's a boy. Let's call him Abraham Lincoln. My life is terrible. My family moved for the second time. I'm learning practically nothing. I rarely go to school, and all I am learning is mostly taught to me by myself. I can only count up to ten. My mother recently died, so my father remarried. All I seem able to do is chop wood. I'll never amount to anything. I love you, Mary. Will you take my hand in marriage? Yes! No, you won't! We won't let you! I don't care what they say. Neither do I. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the union of two people in holy matrimony. Do you vow to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish till death do you part? I do. I do. You may now kiss the bride. The election of 1858 was up and running, and the country bumpkin, Abraham Lincoln, was running against the little giant, Stephen Douglas, for senator of Illinois. I need to win this election. I already lost the election for a seat in the Senate in 1854. I have to win this. Douglas! My opposing candidate, I hereby challenge you to a series of debates. I accept your demand. We face off at Ottawa on August 21st. May the best man win. There must be at least 12,000 people here. Oh snap, they're starting. I better be quiet. Popular sovereignty is the answer to all your slavery problems. <laughs> Let the public vote on slavery. Give the people a choice. This nation can survive half slave and half free. I beg to differ. Popular sovereignty is just a smokescreen to allow the spread of slavery. This nation has only stayed together due to the fact that people assumed slavery would just die out. It's not going to die out soon. The Constitution was written only for white citizens, not Negroes. Are you in favor of Negro equality? Do you advocate the mixing of races? The answer is yes. You are a black Republican who wants to free the slaves so they can take our words, vote, and wives. I will not accept that. You are twisting and distorting the issue through a fantastic arrangement of words. <laughs> it sure is a shame they didn't win the election. I liked old Abe. The election of 1860 came swiftly, and all the nation was looking forward to finding out who would win the election. The Republican Party nominated Abraham Lincoln from Illinois. The Democratic Party was torn over who to nominate, so two parties were formed. The Northern Democrats nominated Stephen Douglas from Illinois. The Southern Democrats nominated John C. Breckinridge from Kentucky. The Constitutional Union Party nominated John Bell from Tennessee. And the winner is Abraham Lincoln! Thank you for this nomination. I feel honored. I will serve this country well. I said that if Lincoln was elected, we would secede. Well, we have! We are now the Confederate States of America, and I am your president! <laughs> We cannot escape history. We of this Congress and this administration will be remembered in spite of ourselves. In giving freedom to the slave, we assure freedom to the free. Honor honorable alike in what we give and what we preserve. We shout for joy that we live to see this righteous decree. If my name ever goes in history, it will be for this. General, what is the report on your troops? We still need more time for training, sir. What is the news I hear about Richmond? Did you succeed in taking the capital? Uh, um, no, sir. Our attack from the rear failed. I thought I urged you to attack from the front. There is no easy way to say this, but I think it's in the best interest of the Union. I'm going to have you step down as general. Okay. You wanted to speak to me, sir? 
Yeah, in spite of recent events, I have decided to make you the new commander of the Union Army. Thank you, sir. It is a great honor. The Battle of Gettysburg was a long and bloody battle. Thank you for coming. <coughs> Four score and seven years ago. Thank you. That's all? Not many people took notice of the short speech I gave that day at Gettysburg, but it eventually became an important part of American history. You're gonna be popular I'll teach you the proper poise When you talk to boys Little ways to flirt and flounce The president has been shot! He died a few minutes ago <gasps> people came and there was a huge ceremony. The death that thrown the country into shock. My husband was not always like, but he was a good president. He will always be remembered by the whole nation.